Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue semicircle fully inscribed uh, in a square, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, AB is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and O is the center of uh, this uh, semicircle as well. And moreover, this uh, vertical uh, segment is eight uh, units, whereas this uh, horizontal segment is four units and furthermore uh, these points p and q are the points uh, of tangency and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of uh, this uh, semicircle and once again just keep in your mind that we are dealing with this uh, square please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw some uh, auxiliary lines. And here's our horizontal uh, line DP that passes through this uh, center O. And we have drawn uh, this uh, vertical line uh, QO as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder these angle, this angle and this angle are 90 degrees each. Since these are our tangents and these are uh, our radii. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, QO is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me label this radius as uh, lowercase uh, r. Then uh, this uh, length uh, is going to be lowercase uh, r as well. And now we know that this uh, tiny segment is uh, 8 uh, units. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AD is going to be r minus uh, 8. And now we can see that this uh, is uh, our radius. And likewise, this is our radius uh, as well. So let me go ahead and label these one as uh, lowercase r and this uh, lowercase r as well. And now I have drawn this perpendicular uh, BC as you can see over here. And we know that this uh, tiny segment is uh, 4 units. So therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, CP is going to be 4 units as well. And we know that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of uh, this semicircle. Let me call this radius as lowercase r. Then this uh, segment uh, OC is going to be r minus uh, 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. This right triangle uh, ADO and this uh, another right triangle uh, BCO. And now we can see that this uh, angle is uh, congruent to this angle because they are opposite uh, vertical angles and this uh, angle is 90 degrees this angle is uh, 90 degrees uh, as well and furthermore uh, these uh, side lengths uh, OA and these uh, side length uh, OB are the radii of this uh, semicircle so therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles uh, triangle uh, ADO and the other triangle uh, BCO are congruent triangle according to angle angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem and since uh, these uh, two triangles are congruent so therefore uh, this side length uh, OC and this side length uh, OD are going to be congruent as well if this side length is R minus 4 then this side length is going to be R minus 4 as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADO whose uh, side lengths are uh, R minus 8, R minus 4 and uh, R and now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the value of this radius R and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square let me go ahead and call our longest leg uh, as our side uh, C I'm gonna call this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So a in our case is uh, r minus 4 whole square plus uh, b square is going to be r 
minus 8 whole square equal to c in our case is r so therefore it's going to be r square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 a b plus b square we are going to apply on these two binomials on the left hand side so therefore we can write uh, r square minus 8 r plus 16 plus likewise r square minus 16 r plus 64 equal to r square now we can see this r square and r square is gone let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so we are going to get uh, r square minus uh, 24 r plus uh, 80 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and factoring and now let's focus on this number 80 this 80 could be broken down to 20 times uh, 4 and we can see if we add uh, 20 and 4 we are going to get uh, 24 over here so therefore we are going to tweak this middle part uh, as uh, negative 20 r minus uh, 4 r as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see we have uh, r in common uh, in the first two terms uh, and we got uh, 4 in common uh, in next two terms so therefore i'm going to factor out r over here so we got r minus 20 let me go ahead and factor negative 4 over here so we got uh, r minus 20 as well equal to 0 and now we can see r minus 20 and r minus 20 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, r minus 20 times r minus 4 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them i can write r minus 20 equal to 0 and the other one uh, r minus uh, 4 equal to 0 for this first equation r is going to be positive 20 and for this uh, next uh, equation r is going to be 4 and now we can see that r equals to 4 is not possible because if we plug it in over here that is going to give us a negative value so therefore we are going to reject this r equal to 4 value and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 20 so thus our radius uh, for this uh, semicircle turns out to be 20 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square and in our case uh, our radius is uh, 20 so therefore the area of this uh, blue semicircle is going to be pi times uh, r in our case is uh, 20 whole square and i am going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle so therefore this is going to give us uh, 400 pi divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 200 pi so therefore the area of this uh, blue semicircle turns out to be 200 pi square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye